are from the Game Theorists and Film Theorists YouTube channels. We run some of the, the nerdiest channels on YouTube. We basically fuse video games, TV, and movies with science and math to teach you something while you're also talking about your favorite movie or TV show. Over the course of the series, I've come to appreciate this whole world of indie games and indie developers that I never honestly would have discovered. The Binding of Isaac, which is a, a, this like crazy, creepy game, or Franbo, which is a, a, this other, you know, kind of horror game. One of my like top, I'd say top three games of last year was this weird indie gem called Kindergarten, where you literally repeat the same day of kindergarten over and over again to try and save your fellow classmates from like an evil murder plot. It's, oh, it's, it's incredible. And the characters are all like super lovable. The animations are super adorable, but it's also like the darkest game that you'll ever play because you gotta imagine that this is all, all with a bunch of kindergartners. So that one is just out there. Um, in fact, Stephanie became a, a fan favorite with, with her Nugget. So there's this one character named Nugget who has these nuggets of friendship. The Nugget voice became a favorite on the channel. <laughs> one of the things that the channels help encourage us to do is stay on top of gaming trends. And so, you know, we can see that FPS shooters are, are on the way out and it's all about, you know, it's all about uh, arena competition now and we can stay on top of um, more of the mobile games and the esports and so it just gives us a much better handle on what's going on in gaming as a whole. We were the first people to discover that Super Smash Brothers actually has a storyline if you look across the various games in the franchise. So. The, the story of Super Smash Brothers as a franchise is basically uh, the developer's story of growing up with his favorite Nintendo characters. Another good one that we did recently is that uh, It and the Stephen King universe might actually include Wrinkle in Time. Yeah, the, the classic children's story is actually a part of the wider Stephen King uh, macroverse, which is wild to think about. So I'm really excited because uh, the new God of War is actually coming out at the end of this month. We've never actually addressed it on the channel, but I've always been a fan of the games. Uh, and so I'm excited to see, after kind of this long hiatus that the series has been on, where it's going from here, what they're going to do with kind of the new direction that they're taking Kratos. For me, uh, there was a Kirby game that was just released. I am an old school fan of Kirby on Nintendo. Um, so Kirby Star Allies is really exciting for me. Um, and it's a game that we can play together, which is also really fun. I think you could definitely lean in on this. Uh, the new Smash Brothers, they announced is coming out in 2018, which I don't think anyone was expecting. So I'm really excited to see where they go with that. Five Nights at Freddy's games. Reach, reach their conclusion at the end of last year, right? So this is obviously a game franchise that has been an integral part of our channel and on the live streams. The creator of the series to kind of culminate this whole six game arc is releasing this ultimate custom night around August, he says, where it's, it's a greatest hits collection of 50 different characters from the franchise all crammed into this one insane gameplay experience and he's been slowly updating people it looks like it's going to be one of the most difficult frustrating like ramshackle games ever but i love it for its craziness and i can't wait to see how it turns out oh man if i could cameo in any game i call see i call smash <laughs> yeah you want to be in smash what would, you, what would you be like would you would you be yourself or would you be a character i think i'd want to be myself that and, and, and what would your powers be the power of great voiceover in live streams, pro tips, that kind of stuff. I could come up with my power set later. I think first the outfit and then the power set. Yeah, okay, yeah. Get, get your priorities straight, people. First the outfit, sure. I, <laughs> I mean, again, ang angering literally everyone online. I would love to be in the Five Nights at Freddy's game just because it... Uh, I, I have spent literally the last like three years of my life trying to solve this this darn game franchise. You know, as it comes to a conclusion, I would love to actually voice over the role of the phone guy, uh, who is this kind of like nerdy tutorial voice who starts off every night, especially in the classic games in the series. And so I I feel like it would be a really big honor to be included as the phone guy in Five Nights. Yeah, totally.